to all three news crews have been on the ground in Portage County since early this morning, gathering information and speaking with residents there. Lindsay Buckingham will have that in just a moment. But we begin with Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling with details on those storms, bets which spawn. Yeah, we had the tornado watch. We had the tornado watch issued last night, and we knew that those storms were going to be popping. However, we just didn't know the details of exactly how all of it would unfold, and it unfortunately unfolded rather uh, viciously. We started with a tornado warning in Bucyrus, and that was in Crawford County, just west of Richland County, uh, and that's the county where Mansfield is. So uh, they obviously got hit with a pretty significant amount of damage thanks to that EF one tornado that touched down there and continued eastward. That same cell of uh, the line of storms continued all the way through Tuscarawas and Carroll counties into Pennsylvania. Meanwhile, uh, we had a totally different cell on that line that came through here in Wyndham in northeast Portage County. This particular uh, tornado touched down just south of the turnpike, south of 303 in Wyndham Township and continued to move to the north northeast along a 3.99 mile path, 65 yards wide. So not terribly wide, but boy, very destructive. An EF1 tornado, top end EF1, 110 mile per hour winds estimated to have caused this damage. Uh, just for the sake of clarification, an EF2 is 111 mile per hour winds. So we are standing now uh, just on the northern side of the Ohio Turnpike. There were three semis that were blown around on the turnpike right up there. So we had that video last night. What we didn't know is that this house right beyond the turnpike was blown off of its foundation. This is Dan Harvey's house. He was in the home at the time. His daughter and granddaughter were in there too. The granddaughter, four years old. They were on their way to the basement when the tornado hit. He said he heard the proverbial train and then all of a sudden it was too late and they had decided to just go straight into a restroom and just do the best that they could. We'll show you more about this house and why it's of particular interest to me uh, as we have been kind of surveying some of this damage along this path. Now, uh, Lindsay Buckingham has uh, been here in town as well and talking to homeowners around here as they are trying to get cleaned up. And obviously there's quite a lot of damage on this path that we have to talk about. Residents on Crestview and Parkman Roads uh, will continue to clean up here for the next several months because of this significant damage. And they described to her the moments that the tornado came through. Trees pulled from the ground, a semi-truck on its side, and houses with their roofs blown right off. This is what neighbors on Crestview and Parkman Roads in Wyndham are dealing with today after an EF1 tornado tore through Portage County. And then it just started pouring down rain. William Sears was with his girlfriend in their trailer when the storm hit. They went across the street to take cover in a neighbor's basement. Uh, we opened the front door to the house, and I mean, it was just like looking out like Twister. Just devastation everywhere. Including William's trailer. I lost everything. It's all gone. The cleanup efforts have been a steady stream of teamwork since last night. Wyndham Fire Lieutenant Eric Matthews says his department has been working around the clock with local and state officials. Trees down, telephone poles, wires, utility poles, everything. Um, it left the path of destruction and uh, looking at some of the damage it's done to some of the houses over there, um, we're, it, I'm, it's just a blessing that nobody was hurt. Everybody's going from yard to yard, helping each other clean up. It's, it's wonderful how this community comes together and it's just amazing. And for William, even after losing his home, the only thing on his mind today is helping others. I'll put my boots on and tie them on tight and go get this done. See if I can't help anybody out that needs a hand. The damage out here is absolutely devastating. You can see behind me there is a house right there with the roof completely blown off. The siding has shifted. We're also told by one fire official that that house was actually moved a bit off of its foundation during this tornado. A lot of the neighbors are out here trying to work together to clean up. The power company is also out here. One fire official told us this damage radius is about three miles and the total, the estimate rather, is up into the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So a lot of cleanup here still, but the support is definitely here as well. In Wyndham, Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.